Hi, my name is Laura on behalf of Blanc Couture and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a plum belt using Ankara so stitching. For this tutorial you will need a tela scissors, a scissors, scissors, a tape measure, a chalk, uh, you can use the liquid one, um, some pins, obviously the fabric and can use a lining or uh, if you don't want to use a lining just use a, a band got the name of it sorry okay so I already fold my fabric into into four um, there is two yards underneath there and uh, so now I'm just measuring the the length how long I want uh, my uh, my plum skirt to be um, I just want to cover the all back and and that's it so I measure it 10 inches but I can make it a bit longer or be shorter obviously and now I'm joining the dot all together it's a very bad pen you just look pushed that's it and I'm using the zigzag scissors, uh, my favorite. I know my hands, my arm is just in front of the camera, and uh, I don't use a monitor, unfortunately. So, yeah, so I ended up uh, getting, I think, two inches, and then it was too small, and I have to come back and cut another two inches again. Okay, this is how uh, it look like. You now I'm making marks because um, while the fabric is very strong, the print is very strong, so it's very hard to see the front and the back. So make sure you always mark it. So that's the lining. I'm adding the top on top of each other. So um, line them top of each other. Oh yeah, it's right with right. Uh, I still don't know the right term, but um, yeah, the right side with the right side, sorry. <clears throat> I don't normally take off the pin as I'm sewing, but feel free to do so. So now this is done. Um, 
gonna put the corner of the fabric. Just like so, make it as close as possible from the edge. gonna cut the edge all around the skirt I've got a pin here feels pretty we did that you have to cut everywhere and make sure you you don't cut the stitching while you're doing that otherwise you have to correct your mistake <coughs> Okay, so now I'm making some um, triangle shape. And when all this is done, I'm just gonna turn the fabric inside out and uh, iron it, make sure that everything is uh, nice and flat. trying the, the fabric on the mannequin um, just to make sure that um, um, is the right length to go all around the skirt if you don't have a mannequin you can just do that on yourself Now I'm cutting the the waist belt, belt and the width length for that one is um, three inches plus um, half inches for the sewing allowance. I'm placing the mark in the middle of the fabric just to make sure that okay this is a part where it has to face the fabric I mean the skirts that's the front and it's bank in the middle all right so after I end the skirts I'm coming back and uh, I'm so all around it again just to make sure that everything is, is neat and uh, stay stable
off camera I had a festing on the on the waistband. Again, I already made a video about it, so I'm not gonna stay too long on it. Uh, so just pin the fabric all the way around. Make sure you keep right with right. If it doesn't make sense, well, too bad. Almost there. And that took me quite some time, I think. I think I was. It was very, very hard to close the front. So I'm wishing you good luck. <laughs> So now I'm getting the. I'm so, sorry. I'm so, I'm sewing the, the the side of the of the waist belt. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna stay long on it. Uh, I've got another video with master skirt and a bow. So I'll put the link in the description box, and uh, you can go and have a look at it on later. I'm just turn the fabric around. And uh, flat iron. Alright, that's it for me, beautiful people. And next week, I'm going to show you how to make a, a customized uh, dress. It's a bodycon dress using obviously Ankara. And uh, if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. And uh, yeah, sharing is caring, so please share with your friends and your family and your haters <laughs> bye